On day one, there will be a bear trap in your hideout that you can disarm for two scrap metal. Now check your map and there will be two icons on it. One will be your hideout and the other one will be the underground entrance. At the underground entrance, there will be two searchable wood logs with one plank in each. There will also be three bear traps here that you can disarm for eight scrap metal total. Now search for the wood log icon on your map and collect four rocks from the searchable wood here. Then return to your hideout and search the large wardrobe for the nails needed to craft a board with nails at the workbench. Then search for the crop field icon on the map and open the searchable crate here, then collect the six scrap metal inside. Now you have to open the door to the Silent Forest entrance. If you don't know the code to the Silent Forest entrance, it's 3333. Three, three, three. You'll have to fight a stick savage here to get the staff so you can craft a shovel. Remember to grab the shiny stone before you leave. Now you'll have to search for the cottage. The cottage will always spawn in a similar place on the map just like the train wreck. Inside the cottage there will be a corpse with a key and a crate you can search with a toolbox inside. But be careful of the villager that you can fight with the boards with nails that I asked you to craft. Now you have to search for Piotrek's house. If you don't know where Piotrek's house is, you should have picked up the map from the corpse outside of the entrance to the Slime Forest. At Piotrek's house, there will be a wardrobe with two tape inside. There will also be a searchable crate here with a toolbox inside guarded by a dog and blocked by worms you can burn with gasoline and matches. You can search for the ritual rocks on your way back to hideout 2. At the ritual rocks there will be a shiny stone and engravings on the floor with a corpse you can search that has a pipe inside. Remember to pick up the shiny stone before you leave. Now go to hideout 2 and open the key crate in the generator room that has one pipe inside. If you don't know where hideout 2 is you should have picked up the map for the corpse outside of the entrance to the silent forest. Then search for the church. At the church, there will be a backpack with two scrap metal, a wardrobe with a pipe, and a shelf with a shovel blade. If you want the sturdy blade upgrade, you have to talk to Wolfman on day one and survive one night in hideout three to gain 200 reputation from the trader, then sell the two shiny stones for 260 reputation, then buy the shovel blade from the trader for 450 reputation. an extra dark words there for all of you guys that actually like watch the entire fucking video um if you didn't talk to wolfman on day one and you still want the trader to spawn all you have to do is shoot wolfman or hit wolfman or something and then obviously don't die then reload the game and the trader will spawn instead of wolfman and this won't piss off wolfman he'll just be at his camp again he won't even remember that you hit him or anything like that It'll just spawn the trader for you on day one if you didn't talk to Wolfman yet. 
but you won't get the reputation back if you save and reload. Like you, if you if you had a wolfman spawn in your hideout on day one because you didn't talk to him, you won't get the reputation from the trainer if you spawn him by saving and reloading. So you do have to talk to him on day one, or just fucking survive night two or day yeah night two in hideout three for the extra 200 reputation.